Hi everyone, Jerry Bellini here. Welcome to the tiny house. So today's video, I was planning on showing you how to do the binding, the slip knot binding on our book that we created for my birthday ritual. But I still have a lot more that I wanna to do to the book, so I decided not to bind it. However, I did show you how to do the binding in the 10 minute technique playlist. So if you're ready to bind your book, you can go over there and take a look at that. Very simple. And um, I can't wait to see some of your books. All right, today we're gonna have story time. I'm gonna catch you up on some of the things I did during the week. And Friday, I'll have a nice project for you. Sidebar, I got a webcam for my birthday. So turn the bell on, click the bell or whatever you do with that so that you get notifications of when I make a video because I'm planning on doing a very impromptu live for the first one to test it to make sure I know what I'm doing. And then at uh, different points, I'm gonna do lives and I haven't figured out exactly when or what, but I'll, I'll make sure I let you know. So today's video is going to be story time only and sharing a few things that I, I did this week, and let's get started. Hey everyone, look at these disgusting hands. Holy smokes. <laughs> um, I've been working really hard on my scrappy little artist journal, and it's taking me a long time. So, um, Let's have a little visit and we'll have a little catch up. And last week, as many of you know, was my birthday and I went home to Pennsylvania to, uh, you know, hang out with Brian and also to go to the baby shower. And uh, if you watched my video last Tuesday on birthday rituals, you'll know that, um, yeah, I'm floundering around with the birthday rituals. So this time, uh, this year, I thought I would create something for my birthday, for a birthday ritual, as part of a birthday ritual. And so I created this book. Now I have already created one, I showed you in a flip, this one. And it was so much fun to make. It's flashcards, I use flashcards. And then uh, you can look at the flip if you want. And this time I decided to use playing cards, which I don't have any more here. I'm at the beach now. I was at home when I started this. And it, it just has been a lot of fun. So I did a little how-to last week, as you know, but I did not tell you how to bind it because I wasn't ready. So I'm still not ready, but I decided to revive an older video where I show you how to do this wonderful slip knot binding. I love this binding. I decided to put the slip knot binding in the 10 minute technique playlist. So if you're ready to bind your book, you can find it over there. I'll also add a link in the description box below this video. Um, what I wound up doing is uh, I did a little stitching around the outside edge and I liked it. So I'm going to go back and do stitching on the outside edge of the pages. And I'm going to leave this um, thread hanging off the end because I like that too. So I wound up doing a lot of different layers on, and you'll see here, on the underneath part. So I did collage and then I did um, some gesso and then I used some um, ink and I just smudged it around. And then this is actually, um, it's artist cement. So it's modeling paste really for lack of a better word. And so I did some designs through stencils and I really like, I just liked all the texture and I really enjoyed the whole process. And I inked the edges heavily with brown and then with black because I really like the way it looks like it was burnt. 
So that's what I did. And I forgot to show you um, the cutout, which I'll get to that in a second. So uh, what I did is also I cut out some images from a magazine and I had one only one really crummy magazine at home. <laughs> so I didn't get very many images out of it. I wound up using mostly words, which is fine. This was like a blurry cupcake. It was on a page for a dog the dog's birthday, but I thought, whatever, it's my birthday. I found those words somewhere. And um, my book, before I go any further, has a theme of getting older and that is not to be mistaken. And I don't want you to think I'm sad or I'm disappointed or anything. I'm perfectly happy aging. I feel like it's part of life and I'm all good with it. But there are some struggles that come along with it and I did list them in my book. So bye bye to dry. So my skin has gotten really dry. <laughs> what What's next? And I accidentally stitched over it when I stitched around that, but I don't care. I may or may not cover it up. Uh, when I was looking through the magazines, I saw this uh, Sally Field and I love, um, I love this whole, um, get up there was a movie she made it's called hello my name is doris if you get a chance to watch it it's very interesting she's a character and i love that and i i enjoy dressing like that and brian and i actually had a conversation about um people who dress quite different and like people who do things out of the general ordinary. I have to watch how I say this. So he he calls it peacocking. And I don't agree with, I didn't agree with it because I think, well, probably in some cases people do do that. I would imagine that they, you know, they feel like they need attention. So they maybe wear clothes that are, are, are quite unusual or maybe so we have somebody that pops into my mind is this we have this guy down here at the pool and he's very tan and he's very muscular and <laughs> it's so funny when he gets out of the pool he's always flexing his muscles and he's always looking at his arms that's peacocking okay so I don't think like what Sally feels does in this movie I don't think that's peacocking and I don't think what I do is peacocking because I really don't care if you look at me or not I just enjoy getting dressed up weird and I like I love my yellow car that's another thing that could be you know somebody driving a race car or something could be considered peacocking so let me know what you think about that um I feel like we're all so individual and we should embrace uh what we love and who we are and um yeah i do guess that there are people out there that are um trying to get attention for the wrong reason so that was a long sidebar <laughs> anyway sally feels i love that this was just the article about the movie and I, I think I'm going to wind up covering that up. So my pages aren't done. And that's why my book isn't going to get put together today. So I just kind of picked some weird things. All right. So here is another thing that I forgot to mention last week in the video. Um, making windows. Totally forgot to show you about making windows. But you saw this book. And this book had windows. So I'm hoping that, you know, you if you wanted to make a window. I don't think... If anyone is finished with their book, besides maybe putting it together, and maybe you already did put it together, I want to know if somebody finished this book because this, <laughs> this took a lot of time. So when you're going to do a window, you kind of have to plan two pages together. So that's what I did. And you see there's nothing on there yet. Love Blooms. And that says Stitched Relationships. And I feel that that's what we have here your stitch relationship. So, you know, there's more of the um, modeling paste. Um, somebody mentioned in the comments when I wrote the word old and showed this, um, it, this was just a word I used. I am 
old. I'm older. <laughs> I'm not old, old. I don't identify with being old and, you know, and useless or that kind of thing. I, I do identify with being older and having more wisdom and um, being very grateful and et cetera, so on. So I just thought it was fun to write the word there. That's why I wrote it there. Um, this came from my zine, which uh, I did, I think I shared that with you in the last uh, video. I think I told you about my zine. So here's my zine right here. We'll just switch over for a second. Um, I made this, I think it was 2017. I don't know. I just didn't date it, but um, a friend, a good friend of mine sent me an email and said, she remembers when I made this, I gave, I gifted it to a few people and she had it and incorporated it into her work. And she, I appreciate, I appreciate you so much, Barb. Um, and I won't say your last name, <laughs> my, my dear friend, Barbara, she, um, said that she felt that her work was very much inspired by me and I really appreciated that and I'm, I'm so grateful for you and so many others of you that have been leaving me these beautiful birthday wishes and comments and stuff I can't tell you how much I I appreciate you people and um, I'm so grateful for everyone anyway so it, back to this the zine so she had used some of the pages in her artwork, which is what I did in this book. I cut cut the zine up. So it led me to dig the zine out, and here it is. And it is about dare to be yourself, right? And being grateful. And uh, I decided to put it in my Etsy store, so I did. So it's in my Etsy store, and purchasing it, you can have it and use it in your own work. I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, don't photocopy it and sell it, but, you know, use it in your work by all means. And you do help support me by purchasing it. So there's a win-win right there for that. And I'm just going to set that aside. So I use it a lot. I use it in a lot of my stuff. I always think of my mother when I see hello, beautiful, that word. Uh, that's a piece of washi tape. Um, so this is, I didn't like this, but this was an old computer. I'll maybe cover that up. Are you truly happy inside? Yeah, I have to say I am. And what to do in August. I found this in an old agricultural something magazine. It was crazy. So I just cut it out. I thought it was fun. And I play bingo at the, we play bingo down at the, um, yeah, what is that? It's a little, <laughs> it's a little room, the activity center. I'm not feeling really well today. You'll have to forgive me. I'm, I'm really tired. I'm really tired. It was a really busy week. So this is kind of a lot of stuff that we do at the beach. And your skin gets wrinkles. No problem, right? And this was a piece of something. I think it was a paper towel and it's all wrinkly. So I thought that was a good spot for it. And here's another with the modeling paste. Um, so how do you feel? Positive vibes, summer, hang loose, eat simple, live healthy. And sometimes I feel smart. And that page, those pages aren't done. And here's another one that I cut out. And, uh, When you open it, there's the glasses, magnifying glasses. So I was like, I see you in the magnifying glasses. I thought that was cute. And I am very grateful. So my mom's favorite flower was the hydrangea. I always have to put something uh, of my mother in my artwork. So um, I am grateful for, I have hydrangeas out in the yard. They are practically dead. <laughs> I don't know why it rained a lot while I was gone. But, you know, they need so much water, and I think they're getting root-bound. So I just did a little stenciling on that page. This one I thought was fun. It looked like she was casting a spell, 
and um, the purple, of course, because purple means beach to me. And uh, so you follow the arrows because I couldn't put the whole thing on one page. It was too much. And there's a carpenter. He's at his carpenter's desk. And I'm putting a spell on Brian. That's Brian. Uh, because I asked him when I was home if he would start another remodeling project. <laughs> so he's like, what? Anyway, we have to put another bathroom in. That's not done. We have to put another bathroom in the house. And I, we were going to wait. And I said, can you just like start it? So he's uh, contemplating it. And we actually kind of came up with an idea of how to put a bathroom and another bedroom. Because, and this is going to be really mostly a chatty um, video and show and tell. Uh, when we bought the house, it had three bedrooms. One bedroom was about the size of a cracker box. And so he knocked the wall down between that bedroom and another bedroom that was just a little bigger than a cracker box. And now it's my art room. So now we only have two bedrooms. And um, at some point, we'll sell the house, I would assume, at some point. And somebody will want a house with three bedrooms, I'm thinking. So we're... Um, we kind of was we're trying to think of how to put three bedrooms in there because I'll have to show you the house sometime. I'll do a video. Um, but I kind of came up with this really weird idea and he loved it. So we're going to do that. All right. Another page out of my zine. Zine, zine. I don't know how you pronounce that. This was going to go on the back. So these were out because of the end word. These were out on... Um, on the patio drying. So these are gonna go like this. So this will go, what makes you happy? And then we'll turn the page and, um, oh, it goes like this. I told you, I don't feel good today, <laughs> I'm tired. She knows what makes her happy. There we go. So, you know, I have to uh, scribble around it and stuff, you know, that makes, that takes a page from being just like meh to being really interesting. See, like this one's got some outlines and stuff. I really like that. Make every minute count because, you know, most of us in here are getting older. So, um, and then I stitched around here. I think there's 18 pages. There's supposed to be. There might be an extra one, uh, but I'm going to make sure there's just 18. And I'm not going to bind mine just yet, but um, the slip knot binding is a really nice binding to make for these books for these single page books all right so I wanted to show you my birth I want to talk to you about my birthday so I told you that I always buy something for myself for my birthday let me see if you can see this yep you can see it I always buy something for myself for my birthday I think I just said that twice I bought this and I'm um, I did put it in the um, description box a link I got this on Amazon and it is very similar. I think it's exactly the same thing as the, as the thing I had originally many years ago when I did my haiku book. So I couldn't remember where the um, magnetic boards were. And then I thought, you know, I think they're at the beach. Sure enough, they're down here. So I have a couple of magnetic boards. And with these magnetic boards, I found this is another magnetic board. So I'm not gonna, I can't pick it straight up and show it to you. This was with my words. So I have a feeling these words are here somewhere and they were never home, they were here. I'm gonna look for them. So uh, I took all the words apart. There's still even more. So there's a lot of words in this box and I'm going to leave them on I have now I have three magnetic boards I'm gonna leave them on one of the boards probably this one and then I did already did this this morning I love this so this is a smaller one and I made a haiku so here it is right it's five syllables seven syllables five syllables and uh I love this one because I was sitting here this morning thinking about, you know, being back at the beach and I, I just love it here so much. And you know, the color down here is purple. 
So purple dream, small smile, does it brings a smile to my face. Happy she sees a garden. And I have a few flowers around here. So I'm happy to see them. Summer wind sounds. And it's very windy here today. So <laughs> I love this. So let me show you. I'm gonna keep showing you. This is mostly show and tell today. So this was my haiku book I showed you last time. And so that's what I did. I put it in my book. Make sure you can see, I'm gonna make sure I'm in frame. And what I do, you can see this is, um, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's these little, these little letters, okay? I have a bunch of them and I remember, I think I bought them at AC Moore. I don't even think that store is open anymore. I think they were a dollar. And I bought a couple of different ones. I mix, this one is in a separate box, but the little ones, the really little ones, I mix them all together in a bag. So I don't care if they're the same script and you see. And so then I'll draw a little picture down here like I did in the rest of the book. Yeah, I really enjoyed doing that um, haiku this morning. It was super fun. It's very relaxing. I can't tell you why, but it is. So uh, that's my haiku. Um, I did wanna, and we'll just leave that right there because we don't want, I don't want the screen to get not focused. Um, I wanna show you Lila's quilt. So the baby shower was Sunday and it was amazing. And maybe so you'll have something better to look at. I'll just spread these out. It was amazing. Um, her sister, she has three sisters. So there's four of them all together. Her sisters put the um, shower on for her. And everybody chipped in and, um, you know, made something to eat. And it was really, really, I really nice. Now, the, people didn't wrap gifts. It's a new thing, I guess. You don't wrap the gifts. You just bring them. And so I folded up the baby quilt and I took a picture it's not done but I just figured look at look at that isn't that lovely I took a picture of it hanging on the clothesline outside and I'll show it to you it I'm gonna make it bigger I'm gonna make it 45 by 60 um, it's it's not quite big enough but it, it looks nice it looks really nice she loved it and that's all that matters. I was happy that she liked it and she liked the colors and everything. So what I'm going to do now is try to find a piece of very soft flannel in pinks and greens um, for the backing. I would like to find something with little ladybugs on it for the back of the quilt in flannel. All right, so when I was home, on my that was on my actual birthday, the baby shower. And I got up early because our internet wasn't working and I had to get up early uh, to let the internet guy in. And so I thought, oh, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna sew something. So I had an idea for a sewing project. So I started working on that and I'm not gonna show that to you right now. I'm gonna save that for another day. But that's how I spent my birthday morning. I, I was sewing and I had so much fun. It just was so fun because it was a new idea and it was a new project and it was just fun. And then we got ready and then we went to the shower. And uh, we thought we might do something afterwards, but I was tired. It was a long day. Uh, they, they are far. It was far away. So it was a long day. And that's probably why I'm so tired now because... Then we came to the beach. So that was Sunday. We came to, back to the beach on Monday. And when I say we, I mean me and my daughter, Amanda. She was coming back and I bummed a ride with her. And uh, I had to get up at, I think I got up at like 5.30 in the morning because she wanted to leave early. And we were out of the house by six o'clock. So <laughs> I'm still, I'm hungover. All right. This, I hope this doesn't ruin the focus because it's white. You know what this is? This is um, red cash register paper and so, or adding machine paper. And sometimes you see this in a thrift store and that's why I'm pointing it out to you. I am going to take a really long strip and I'm gonna mommy gummy it. 
and I'm gonna make a scroll with it because now I know I can stitch into it. So um, I'm gonna do that and I'm just telling you, if you see something like that and you wanna try it along with me, get that. All right, what else? That's it, I think. Yep, I have my little cheat sheet over here. Um, so I'm going to insert the um, slip knot binding so the video is going to be a little long, but I'll see you on Friday. And um, did I want to tell you anything else about this book? Yes, I did. Yes, I did want to tell you something else about this book. You notice, can you see this in the, in the video that this is like a little shiny? If you want your book to be a little shiny, this one's not. If you want your book to be a little shiny, use a, um, a gloss matte medium and just get it on top of there and let it dry really well. And what I did with this other book, after it dried really well, so I gave it like a day or two to dry, I used this furniture polish. It's uh, Daddy Vans. I think you can also use this but I haven't tried this yet. And I just kind of buffed it on so that the pages don't really stick together. And they do stick together a little bit, but they're not too bad. So I did want to mention that. And I'm just gonna say goodbye now. Just remember to keep moving. Just play, no rules. And remember to find something to be grateful for today. And I am grateful to be here. I was very grateful to be home. I had a great week and I am grateful to just relax. And um, my kids are spoiling me now. They're, they're buying me stuff for my birthday and we're having cupcakes and cake and stuff. So <laughs> I'm grateful for that too. And I'm always grateful for you. And I'll see you again on Friday. Bye for now.